All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I will be filling you full of a lot less crap compared to what I normally would do in a video like this one, and also, I will be lying to you a lot less than what I would do in a video like this one. And when I say in a video like this one, I mean my YouTube channel update videos. So this video is going to be my YouTube channel update video for the month of May in the year 2021. Now, there is only one thing that I'm really going to be talking about in this video, and that is to do with what's going to come up to do with the iPad videos and all that stuff. However, two quick things that I will get to just ahead of that. I want to keep this video nice and short and tight and all the rest of it, so I'll try and get to the main bulk of it within about a minute or two, hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, just two quick things. It One, my background here. I mentioned this in a previous video. I've got OCD and I'm a friggin' nutcase with certain stuff like wonky lines and all the rest of it. It's just mad, I think. Uh, but a few of you said you don't mind the background, it looks okay. Anyways, Lana from Dining with Lana made a comment and I just thought, well, do you know what? If a woman likes this type of background, I'm taking that all day long. So thank you very much, Lana. You swung it for me. This background is staying like this for at least the next few months. Anyways, the next thing is this thing about my lying and filling you full of crap. In the last two update videos, I think I've been going on about like, oh, I'm gonna do a ton of videos, blah, 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 and I never get round to doing it. Right, that's only because as I explained in the last one, I've been doing a bunch of other stuff to do with three other channels and all the rest of it, but that all got nailed a couple of weeks back, or the most of it got nailed. Anyways, as people may have noticed within the last month and a half or so, I've been going pretty mental with putting up a ton of videos. That is going to carry on. Right, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I've only got four minutes left on the SD card. Can I do it? Oh, I don't know. Right, what it is, uh, I've still got a whole bunch of videos to catch up on. Uh, there's about 20 in an immediate list that I still haven't done. I was hoping to have had them done before the iPads come through, but that's not happening. So basically, uh, from here on in for the next few weeks, it's probably going to be a bit of a miss, mix, match, mix and match sorry get your words out david speak english it's going to be a bit of a mix and match thing going on with the videos now to the main crux of this thing the ipads it looks like i may have my 11 inch ipad pro m1 within two days now and also with that it looks like the apple tv is coming with it so that's the 2021 or the gen 6 version of the apple tv i will then get my 12.9 inch uh, ipad pro m1 maybe in two to three weeks time so what this means is i will be going absolutely mental with a ton of videos to do with the ipads and stuff now just to warn people uh, i am going to try and do like two videos a day minimum for the next two weeks okay hopefully at the weekends as well but i'm, I'm really looking at doing at least 10 videos a week um, for the next two weeks, hopefully more than that. So again, fair warning, and as people will have noticed because they'll have seen what's been going on recently, I have been doing a lot. Now, the other reason why there's gonna be a lot is because with the iPad stuff, I need to try and break those videos down and do very specific, like, you know, single case videos. As a, for instance, Sony PS4 controller how to pair a Sony PS4 controller with an iPad Pro M1 2021, whatever it's gonna be called. Now, a few of you out there will be going, hold on Dave, we've already seen you pair that controller with your old iPad, and yes I have, and then somebody's gonna go, but we've also seen you do that with a phone, didn't we? And we've also seen you do it with another tablet. Yes, you did. But here's the thing, the people who, who want to know about how to do, like pair this with an M1 iPad, they're not gonna start searching for an ipad 2020 or a tab s7 which is why that video won't come up with those people so it's only going to be people who would be familiar with me stuff would know that i've already done a bunch of things like how to pair controllers and stuff like that two minutes this isn't happening right so so basically what i'm going to do is try and break things down like that and very very specific things which are only designed for people who are buying that ipad m1 thing right and here's the thing there's a bunch of other stuff Oh, yeah, it is something. This is actually quite cool. This one, 
This is a Thunderbolt to HDMI interface, but Thunderbolt, not USB-C. Now I wanna see if this works with the Thunderbolt socket on the iPad. So that's gonna be brilliant, that one, if it comes off and if it works. Now with that, there's a ton of other things, various types of cables, USB-C to various things as well. So you can plug in uh, wireless keyboards, which use those little like radio dongles and stuff like that. Because don't forget these things don't plug directly into USB-C sockets. Now some people may not know how to do that so i want to show things like that i'm also going to show how to plug in oh, i'm not going to pull it out because it's plugged in uh, things like my audio interfaces and stuff like that because you use like you know basically a usb-c printer cable to do that uh, then there's going to be more stuff to do with hdmi uh, ethernet all stuff that you may have seen before that i've done with either the ipad pro 2020 which is what this is or even stuff that i did with the galaxy tab s7 but like i've just said you can't you, you basically you have to keep repeating some of these things very specific to a device right so that's the reason why i'm doing them like that and um, because like i say someone looking for something specific to do with an ipad m1 ain't gonna go looking for that device being used with a galaxy tab or even an earlier ipad you know what i mean so yes a whole ton of that right uh, this is saying zero minutes left here give us a second <laughs> right i've just deleted some space on my card there to continue right now, I know there was people four minutes ago going, he's just said he's only got four minutes left on the card. Brilliant, it'll shut him up. Unfortunately, no, it has not. However, I don't want to disappoint you, so I won't carry on just rabbiting on like a lunatic. Also, I've just took a good swig of coffee as well, so I'm going to have to be very careful. Right, so just to round this all up then. So yes, tons of videos, all the rest of it. But let me just speak very, um, let's see, seriously for a moment. The other thing that I've got to consider here as well is I've just made a very substantial outlay. So I've just spent over 2,000 UK pounds sterling on some equipment uh, two of the things I do not need like it's not like you know I have to have them the Apple TV which has been the cheapest thing out of the lot yeah I wanted one uh, I've not had one for a while so it's not like I'm going to double up with anything with that however with the iPads themselves I've already got a 2020 here now if you've already got a 2020 or a 2018 you've already got a device which is far more powerful than what the requirements would be for, I think, nearly anything on the App Store right now. So there's no way that for the basic things that you're going to be doing with any of the previous iPad Pros, there's no way you're going to see some kind of mad improvement using an M1. It's not happening, right? Yes, yeah, sure, the 12.9 is going to have like a better display and all the rest of it, but you probably won't be seeing that unless you're doing HDR content or viewing HDR content. You might see it in other instances. I don't know until I try it. Uh, but however, the, you know, the general power of these things is like far higher than what is required from your average app on the app store. In fact, I don't think there's any app on the app store that would even tax a 2018. Now, granted, there's going to be stuff with inside them, like there's going to be faster like memory management and stuff, so faster paging, faster caching. So internally, there will be things that might speed up. I don't know. You might see. I don't. You might see. Say some web stuff get a bit faster, but they're already mega fast anyway. You might see some of the things going from app to app, maybe a being faster you may also see moving data around probably is going to be faster as well but they generally are not the things that are going to help your productivity to increase like you know by a high margin so the bottom line is yes it is a huge expense and it is not one that i would normally make what i would normally have done is either had someone to buy this off me or already have sold it and then updated or upgraded but in this instance, what I am doing is taking a huge risk because I want to see if I can kickstart the channel a bit with a certain type of technology. So if I can go down, sorry, I'm burping here. That coffee's repeating on me, <laughs> right? If I can get the channel to go a little bit more focused with a certain, like, you know, path of technology, I'm going to have to try it. So this is a huge financial gamble in one way for me, although strictly speaking, it's not like I've just bought the iPads only to do this, like for YouTube. It is something that is my favorite tech item probably ever. Definitely best gadget item ever. I, 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 the iPad's glued to me, goes everywhere with me and all the rest of it. So the thing is, 
it's not like I've got to justify buying an iPad, but going over the top and buying two, you know, is definitely because of the channel. That definitely is, is why I've got the two. So what I need to do is to see if I can make these work for me. Now, the initial idea is give myself a month or so with the pair of them work out if I need the pair of them. Well, I don't need the pair of them, that's obvious, that's stupid. Right, what it is, work out which one's the best for me. I'm not entirely sure that the 12.9 inch one is gonna be as versatile as the 11. The, the size of this one's amazing. You can throw it in like loads of different types of bags and sling bags and stuff like that. It's a lot easier to carry and it's, it's just easier in most environments. The 12.9, I don't know if it's gonna be a bit too cumbersome to be honest. Um, however, give myself a month or so with the pair of them. During that time, I will either work out that one is better for me than the other ergonomically. Um, Power-wise, there's no difference between them realistically. Um, the same things to do with battery and screen, obviously, that you can look into. Um, but the general thing for me is probably going to be just size and managing the size of it and what's going to be, like, you know, where the best case scenario is for either or. And then I'll make a decision, well, you know, do a keep one and then just flog the other. Now, at that point, what, what I'm hoping on is that with the videos that I've done, and the income off the videos and then like Amazon links and all that stuff, I will have more than covered the loss on trying to sell something. Now, what I've done so far this year has done that on a few things. However, I've like, yeah, the last thing I did this with was the Intel Nook. Now I did really buy that just to do videos about it and then flog it. I knew I was definitely gonna do that. Um, I'm dead into Intel Nooks, but I wanted to know what the latest one was like. Now, I've got to be dead honest, I was really lucky because um, there was a shortage on those things. I only lost 10% of the value of the build. So that 10% loss, I equate that as a great spend for the channel because it, it allowed me to you know do some videos, which I really enjoyed doing. They were good for other people, made a bit of money out of them. Uh, but I also kind of kept on top of the Intel Nook stuff, which is something that I'm dead into, these mini computers and all that. So for me, that was a great spend and I didn't lose too much. And inevitably, that will be covered over time by... I, um, what I get back off the videos that I've done about them. Now, the thing is, with the iPads, you know, I'm not really doing that with the iPads. The iPads are something that I love to have, you know, I, I just, the, the, the great gadgets and stuff like that. So bottom line is, yes, it, it, it is a gamble for me. So I've got to make it work, you know, in a certain way. Now, got to look at this in a real plus positive way. If somewhere along the line, like me gaming videos or me gadget things to do with iPads, if any of them kick off and like I get a nice little run like I had done with the videos of this, then, you know, I might keep the two of them. And it, it could be a thing where I can do comparison stuff and this, that, and the other. I don't know just yet, but the idea is just in the initial stages is to get a bit of a feel as to how those videos go and who's into them and, you know, is there a call for them? Well, actually, more, probably more importantly, is there a call for them? Because if there isn't, I'm not covering anything. You know what I mean? That's going to be money definitely gone down the drain. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I think that'll probably do it for now. Okay, so I'll probably just about sum it up then. And I think that last swig of coffee's definitely tipped me over the edge. I'm defo going. So, yes, Loads of videos coming up and loads of stuff about iPads and Apple TV and stuff like that. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.